Bickel to keep the pressure on. Hera is not effective. The opening goal has been scored by Canada. 11 minutes into the contest. Well, they've been threatening almost from the opening kickoff. And Canada has their opening goal from Janine Becky. And the hosts lead the South Americans by a goal to nil. That was all the rules short of it. And header away was never convincing. Chested down by Janine Becky. And that sure left foot into the corner. Past a couple of despairing lunges, including that of Shirley Berrouz. For the Canadian back line, Stephanie Labbe wants to get those players organized. Pesantes have something off the training ground. Will there be a strike on goal? Or will the wall do its job? Enough with the pushing and shoving, says the Mexican referee. Ponce might hit it. She leaves it all the way through. And it is the equalizing goal. Stephanie Labbe managed to get a hand on it, but couldn't keep it out. And the Ecuadorian captain, Morena, has tied it up for Ecuador with virtually their first attack of the game. And leading by example, Ligia Morera took a deflection off the wall, which might have wrong footed Stephanie Labbe, but we're all tied up at 1 1. Well, the wall didn't do its job, did it? And Labbe went to her right, got a strong hand on it, but couldn't keep it out of the back of the net. Looking for the killer pass. One too many in the way. South American yellow jerseys in the way. Sadorsky, can she find some service from the left hand side? Oh, she scores! Right over the head of Shirley Baruz. I'm not sure that's what Shalina Sadorsky was intending to do, but she doesn't care. And nor do the Canadian fans. A minute before half time, Canada back in front, leading Ecuador by two goals to one. Sadorsky on target. Well, Skodorsky, I'm sure, was trying to bend it for one of the attacking players. Ashley Lawrence was furthest forward. Didn't get the curl, but it just floated over the top of Shirley Berus, who was helpless to keep it out of the back of her net. Mistake by the goalkeeper, it has to be said. Has had in the advantage. Is possessed. With Nickel. For Rebecca. Becky with the corner maybe ahead and it's another goal and i think it's sadorsky again three one canada and shalina sadorsky can hardly believe what sort of a night she's having her second canada's third from the becky corner it dropped just just invitingly for Sadorsky had just chipped the ball nonchalantly over the defender on the goalpost into the back of the net. Good technique from Becky. Quinn got a header, and Zadorsky said, Thanks very much, I'll help myself again. So early in the second half, Canada establishes a two goal lead. And Zadorsky. Cannon turns away from trouble. Lave not for the first time. Prepared to play sweeper. Long forward. To the head of Becky. Dispossessed. Problem standing back for Dornia. Lemosor looking for a shooting angle. Shots. Just a bit of flexion. There is 
beautiful chip. Beautifully delivered by Janine Becky. Just, on, just saw Bruce just a yard off the line. This uh, contest. Never saw. was in and the hot night no way of defending that and the defender becoming increasingly desperate no challenge on Lawrence in Janine Becky after Stephanie Labbe was given a straight red card for pulling down an opponent as the last defender Will Becky be tested? She will, and she can't keep it out. And Becky's first task as a volunteer goalkeeper for Canada is to pick the ball out of the back of the net because Morero has scored again, as she did in the first half. Once again, the Canadian wall is a shambles. And Becky got no protection. And all of a sudden it's 5 2. For their second group game. Is there time for one more meaningful attack? And for Wu, she passed the three minute mark. Maybe there is. Obera. Surely that's all she wrote. Just a matter of how long the referee will have. No more, says the Mexican official. It's over now. In Canada. Let's hope we don't see any tonight. The red wave coming forward for Canada. They've won themselves a corner on that far side. Chelsea Stewart getting forwards to good effect this time. Well, Barbara, I still don't think has had a save to make worthy of the name. With eight minutes, nine minutes into this second half, we are still deadlocked at nil-nil. Is this the opportunity Canada has been waiting for? Floated forward, and finally Barbara is called into action to claim the corner, and Raquel Fernandez like a frightened rabbit is up and over halfway at great pace on that far side Fabiana and Chelsea Stewart Fabiana kept her footing it's the opening goal it's the opening goal for Brazil and Dressa Alves can celebrate for the Brazilian fans and relief for Vadao the pacey break brought handsome dividends for the South Americans. And Canada has finally fallen behind. Fabiana kept her feet. And Jessa Alves, first time, excellent finish, terrific technique from the Brazilian striker. Zudorski couldn't get there quickly enough. And Andresa Alves gives Brazil the lead. There. We'll have another look here. Christian, well, was she offside? I think that's the question mark and caused the confusion. And looking at it a second time, as Buchanan takes a step forward, well, is she offside? My sense is that she probably was. But the referee 
has allowed the goal to stand. Will there be time to take the free kick? Marine will deliver. And easy enough for Labe. Referee. How much longer will she add? Not much, I fancy. Referee says that'll do. Blows her final whistle. Andresa Alves. Well, two chances in as many minutes for the Canadians who are beginning to get up ahead of steam here. Kinsner and then Fletcher. And Colombia are rocking at the back. And we can all catch our breath as Buchanan puts it behind. Into touch on that far side. This was the run by Becky. Strong in possession. And then fed Emma Fletcher. And Sepulveda just stuck out a right leg. And he thought that was the moment as well. Well, encouragement for Canada. Meanwhile, Vidal at the other end, and disappointingly wide by the Colombian striker. Quinn trying to get away from Vidal. Quinn again. Lave offering herself. Quinn didn't need her. Rebecca Quinn. They've given it away. Finally. Montoya. Ospina. Ospina. Colombia in front. Diana Ospina. Canada didn't clear it. And Colombia has made them pay. Twenty-eight minutes gone. Diana Ospina has given Colombia a vital lead. There was no flag. It was tight. But the assistant kept her flag down. And when the ball came to Ospina, she steadied herself and threw the legs of Labe. And Colombia leads Canada by a goal to nil. Cool finish by Ospina. Ball over the top. Well, who knows who got the last touch. Referee decided it was a red head. A red jersey. And a goal kick. And the Colombians are going to make a change just around the, the clock. And they're going to bring on Stephanie Castaño to replace Sarita. But we've played the four minutes of stoppage time. How much longer will the referee add? That's it. It's over. Colombia will play Brazil for gold.